and welcome to episode 31 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. I'm lost for words. It has been the most hectic seven-ish day. I mean, what? how long has it been? It's been a long time since we last heard from Eggy. It's been a long time since you last heard from me at all on this channel. It's probably the longest break I've ever had and my word was it necessary. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail, but I moved into my new house three days before Christmas, had to get the house ready. Then I had my entire extended family come to our house for Christmas. We cooked, we did everything. We were the perfect hosts. And then what's happened since then? I just had a load to do. I had a wedding to go to three days ago. I spent a day in Ikea. That is always stressful. And you know, I, I meant to take a few days off and uh, it turned into a a week, at least a week off, so I apologise for not maybe communicating why or how long I was going to be away. Little tip though, if you do want to stay completely up to date, I, I do often post on Twitter but not really about the channel too much, but uh, the Discord channel, and there's a link in the description, it's free to uh, free to join the server and there's lots of good people in there talking about football, general Pez related stuff. Uh, so yeah, jump in there, join that, and that's actually where I've been keeping the very, very small amount of people who are in that updated, so that's a good place to go if you're ever worried that I might have died or, or something like that. But I'm fine, I'm okay. And I'm very, very keen to get back to some Become a Legend because Eggy finished the last episode on an absolute flyer. As you can see there, second in the goal rank. He's got three goals this season in the area division. Uh, we're third in the league, but we've got a very, very important game in the Europa League today. Dynamo Zagreb will start us off and then we've got Veve Ve, and then who do we have as the third game? Fortuna Sittard, so two very winnable Area Division games, one at home, one away. Um, you might notice the audio might be a little bit odd in here. I'm recording in uh, what will be an office in my new house, but it doesn't have a curtain. There's not really much in the way of soft furnishings, so it might be a bit reverby, a bit echoey, so I apologise for that. Well, I mean, not much more to do than get into the first game. I would like to actually dedicate this episode to all the, uh, the people who tragically lost their lives or their homes in the most recent Indonesian tsunami. I do feel like I've got this connection now with Indonesia and all the news that happens there really resonates with me and it's just horrible to see all that stuff happening. So this one goes out to you guys and uh, yeah, let's see if we can start positively against Dynamo Zagreb. Let's take a look at the sides for today. Ah, oh, it's Maxi Romero. I've really got a bit of a love-hate relationship with him at the moment. He's so good in our Master League series. Never performs for PSV. Uh, Eggy on a sideways arrow. That's not so great. We've got Gabby and Bentaleb behind us. Zano on a blue should get goals. And uh, Big Angelino down the left-hand side as well. Also in good form. Zagreb are a good side. There's no doubt about that. They've got a good keeper. Strong centre-back. Good midfield as well. They're not incredible. We're obviously a better rated side, but they've started more strongly than us in the Europa League group. I think we currently sit in third behind Toulouse and Zagreb. So uh, yeah, it'd be good to get all three points today, but it's a long trip to Zagreb. Actually, I have no idea how far that is. It's a trip to Zagreb. Let's get into it. So just before Christmas, Eggy Milano Vikri had his real life debut for the uh, Lekia Gdansk first team. Really exciting stuff. I think he got about 15, 20 minutes at the end of a game that was already won. He was actually playing out on the left from what I could tell, sort of left wing position. Uh, we are looking to retrain Eggy, so that may be the one we look at. There will be a vote going out to the patrons to decide. Could be second striker, could be left wing, could be right wing. We did discuss central mid, but I don't think many people are interested in that. So again, if you are interested in being able to vote on decisions that affect Eggy's career, Eggy's life, then uh, link is in the description. One dollar a month is all it'll take to support this channel, but also have a massive say in how this series progresses. Right. Let's get back into uh, winning ways with Eggy. It's been a long, long time. I've not played much Pez. Uh, so let's get into it. Come on, Eggy. Oh, good ball in from Petkovic. Could be an awful start here. And Zagreb, without even allowing PSV a touch of the ball, have got the first goal here. And it was far, far too easy. And Gavranovic, you've got to say, that was a great finish. Maybe a little early in the game to be pulling out the uh, Sniper Wolf celebration. You know, don't count your chickens, but this is not a good start. <laughs> not a good start at all. Who's that? Hendricks coming well out of position to try and bro block the cross. I don't know where Dumfries was. Lockerson couldn't get across his man. Yeah, Hendricks has pulled way out of position there. And that's some finish. Some, some finish. We've got a mountain to climb now. 
Oh, lovely tackle there by Lukasen. Oh, lovely step away there from Eggy. He's got options here. Plays it into Angelino. The left back makes his way into the box. It's a low ball in. Oh, it's got a little bit confused there. I wasn't sure that was the right pass. Petkovic lays it off to Orsic. Good effort from him. Just wide. This is not the start we needed. Eggy, nice turn. Oh, the pass is intercepted. Oh, he's nicked it back. Can he find the run of Romero? Or Lozano? Ball inside is blocked. Another ball in. No, it misses us all. Pereiro, no. Damn it, it's poor. Really poor. Nicely worked corner here. Can Eggy dig a dangerous cross out? Edge of the area to Gabby. Hits it all off the post. <laughs> Nicely worked. Finds the central midfield on the edge of the box. And his shot only inches away from levelling things up here. In Zagreb. Oh, it's a good take and a good hit as well. Eggy intercepts it well. Keeps it moving. That's an awful pass though, Gabby. What is that? Eggy just about manages to make amends. And that is not the ball we want here. But Eggy will get the first time ball into Romero. He returns the favour. Eggy into the box now. Low finish off the post. No way. That is not what we wanted. Ball into Eggy again. Explodes away from his man. Can he get the cross in? No, oh my God. The one-on-one -on -one opportunity. He did everything right except for Russell, that onion bag. So close as well. I think that was the right finish. I think he did everything right. Kept it low. Just couldn't get it properly on target. Gutted. It's had a very disappointing half so far. Oh, Hendricks. Lovely work. Into Eggy. Skips away. Can push it into the path of Lozano. He's hit it a bit far. Wants it back here. Eggy with the effort. It's blocked. Another go. Oh, yes. There we are. He needed another bite of the cherry there. But look what it means to him. He wanted to keep that run of good form going. I was a little worried. I am feeling a little bit rusty. But we just kept plugging away there. And that's Eggy's third shot in this game and finally it goes in it was a great little step away from his man and then a good pass into Lozano maybe put a little bit more on it that he liked but oof, defended it well in the first instance to get a uh, sliding challenge in blocked the first shot but it did fall very kindly to a man in incredible goal scoring form this season there were questions about whether he was going to move in the summer PSV able to secure him for at least another season or half a season we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah, no one, I'm sure, thought he would start the season quite this well, despite his excellent season last season. But wow, he's keeping the goals coming, keeping the assists coming as well. And uh, yeah, this could be a big, big win for us if we can go on and get all three points. It's a short corner. Back to Weggy now. Oh, the dancing feet. We'll get the shot off with the right. It's blocked. Whoa. Full of confidence. Almost. Finding another opportunity before the end of the half. And Lukasen wins it back well. It's laid off to Eggy. Oh, more footwork. Looks to play it inside. It will fall here. <laughs> and is it Gabby again? He puts it wide. It could have been Bentaleb. Eggy with the close control here. Under a lot of pressure. Oof, somehow skipped away there. A little nutmeg pass into Gabby. He puts it wide. Could have had two or three. We have come back really well in this game. Danger here. There was Zagreb looking to... Craft an opportunity before the end of the half. Way too much time given to him there. But we managed to escape the danger. And we go in. One all. And Eggy's goal. Well, we had chances. I have to say, we had the more chances. It'd be interesting to see the stats. Yeah. Okay. We were dominant. We had all the possession. All the chances. Eggy misplaced a lot of passes. Hermans will not be pleased by that. He also missed a uh, guilt-edged one-on-one -on -one chance. But kept plugging away, as we said. And he got his goal. Can we come out in the second half and finish this one off? Eggy, lovely ball to release Pereiro. Can we find a counter-attack here? Zagreb have got a lot of men back. It's played out to Gabby. Into Pereiro. The dangerous winger. Oh, that's a nice ball. Steps back, finds Maxi Romero. He can turn, find Lozano. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Counter-attacking football of the highest calibre. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. We just ripped him apart. Pass after pass. Just everything played in exactly the right spot. When a counter-attack works like that, it is poetry on a football pitch. And uh, Eggy 
in that position. He's so dangerous, but this time just went simple into Romero. But that is a lovely ball from the Argentinian, finding the Mexican. And we find our second goal. That was really nice football from PSV. You can see why they are touted as one of the favourites in this Europa League this season. Oh, that's nicely worked here from Zagreb. Orsic. Got Dumfries with him. Steps inside. That's a lovely ball into Morrow. Danger here. Petkovic. That's unfortunate. Pretty sure there was a nasty deflection somewhere in there. And, well, maybe we were a little bit too complacent having gone ahead. This is their first real chance here. It's a nasty deflection off Hendricks, who's had a bit of a bad time in this game. He's not looked confident. Okay, well, we need another goal. Eggy is very, very tired, but he won't be coming off having scored. Let's get this. We could see De Jong on soon. Pereiro into Eggy. No, we can make mistakes now. This isn't good. Orsic again. This left-hand side is having a lot of joy. Short ball's available into the Ovech. This is exactly what happened last time. Ball back to Gavrin. No. Oh, it's an absolutely identical goal, for fuck's sake. And we've chucked away a lead here. And that's two for Gavrinovic. They've had nothing in this game except for two identical plays down that left-hand side. Again, it's Hendricks going out. Dumfries in no man's land. Ball back. No one can get to it. Yes, Eggy's mistake was what caused the counter-attack. But still, we have really dropped a bollock here to use a... Uh, Use a famous expression. Oh, lovely flick there into Weggy. Plays it out, looking for Lozano. That's a good ball. Irvin Lozano now. Can he put a ball into the box? Will he put a ball into the box? Into Weggy. No, he lets it run. Ramzalar. Eggy with the turning effort. That's a big, 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 <laughs> a bigly bad decision. In the words of a very stupid man. And that was a stupid decision as well. Short ball in. We just should have swiveled turn. We had a man to aim for in the box. Eggy holds his head in his hands. He can't believe that we're going to drop these points. Oh, Petkovic. Edge of the box. Into Gavranovic. He's got two today. Out to Olmo. They're still bombing forward. Well one back though. But what is that by Angelino? Desperate clearance out. We need the ball. Now they have it back here with Olmo. It's a nice play into Catherine. Oh, get the ball back. Petkovic in wait. No, come on. What is that? We've fallen apart. We've we've just crumbled, disintegrated. I mean, Angelino just firing the ball into the air. And we needed possession. I don't know what Lukasen's doing there. It's been awful defend. Really awful. Eggy lays it off nicely. Big Rog now with the flick into Eggy. He sees the run of Dumfries up from the back. Can he find Big Rog? Big Rog is blocked. And, well, it's time up here as well, so it doesn't even really matter. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. At the very least, we should have been coming away with a point from this game after going ahead. But then to allow them to score two identical, really poorly defended goals. I mean, there are a smattering of boos from the travelling PSV fans. And, and rightly so. Rightly so. This is a, a team we should be beating in a competition that we need to be progressing in. I don't want to see where this sees us in the table. We have 57% possession. More shots. Just some of that defending was, was truly awful. Sixes somehow for Hendricks and Lukasen. Iggy gets a 6.5. Gets a goal. Played okay. A little bit rusty. But you can't, you can't give teams that much space. You can't allow them to take shots in that part of the area. Deary me. So to lose beating Celevaris will see us now. Oh, that's actually really bad. That is really bad. So we played three. That's that's awful. We're really in trouble now. So back to the league it is. <laughs> Let's concentrate on that. We've still got seven goals and five assists in ten appearances. We're playing well. There's no doubt about that. Big mistakes at the back though. I always thought Hendricks and Lukasen would be a fairly trustworthy duo but big mistakes there now Eggy ran himself into the ground in that game to be honest in the first half trying to get the game moving and uh, we're going to be very tired for today's game we do start against VVV in the league hopefully we don't play the full game uh, yeah look that is that's very tired we're going to have to really concentrate on our fatigue management big Rog up top today very rarely starts with De Jong on the bench on a green arrow as well I have to say I'm disappointed there Ramsalar out on the right Pereiro didn't really get involved much in the last game. Hendricks moved up into a defensive midfield, which is where I'd much rather see him. And uh, Ismay Marin in at centre-back in his place. Lucasen keeps his place. 
Hendricks just doesn't have the positional awareness for centre-back. We saw that in that game, getting pulled out of position. That cost us a couple of those goals. Uh, VVV, a team that we should be beating, no doubt about it. We've got a good centre-back. It's pretty much it. 64-rated keeper. Right, let's make amends. Let's go again. I've just realised, where are my manners? I didn't even ask you all how your Christmas went. I hope you all had a good time. I hope you all got the uh, presents you want. I hope you enjoyed Christmas lunch. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you've just had a nice week. And, uh, yeah. Eggy wins the header. Ball into Ramzalar. Holds off his man well. Sprays it wide to Ivan Lozano. It's for the 1-2 with Big Rog. Eggy's there. Looks for the back heel into Big Rog. That's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Eyes in the back of his head. You know, that's that's the sort of stuff that Eggy's pulling off now. This is this is where he is. Pulling off some, you know, Meza Ozil level assists. And Big Rog profiting there. And you can see how much it means to him. He has been starved of minutes by Hermans in the last season and a half. And a rare start today against the Minnows VVV. And we started off very promisingly with the goal. It's a great bit of interplay between Big Rog and Lozano. But Eggy knew exactly where Big Rog would be. And those beautiful yellow boots finding the back of the net. And again, there's some great fluid football being played by PSV. It's just, can we match it at the other end of the pitch in defence? Can we get that right in this game? BVV looking to work their first attack of the game. Out to Samuelson. That's a lovely ball laid back. And now Samuelson in the position that Zagreb had so much luck in. And the ball is played in well. And the striker just couldn't get it on target. Got problems down that left-hand side. Let's have a look here. I mean, this time, there's no sign of what who, who should be out there. Dumb freeze. He's just not getting to those overlapping wing-backs or overlapping full-backs. I don't... Hermans needs a word. He needs a good couple of words in the ear of Dumb freeze. He's been a great player for us. He just doesn't seem to be making the right decisions. Eggy backing in. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just couldn't come away with it. Samuelson, Malapa, Post plays it through to Roma. He should be able to keep this one in. Just about does. Angelino has to play it into touch. First corner of the game here. It's played short by VVV. Now Kuhn puts the ball in and it's blocked. And they'll get another opportunity here. A little bit of pressure from the away side as Lindhorst lines this one up. He's going to look to swing in with his right foot. Malapa jumps. Roma will get to it. Roma inside to Malapa. Good at Oh, my word. Well, as in the last game, the first goal from the opposition is one out of the very top draw. There's not much that Zoot could have done about that. He repelled a couple of corners. But it came back. Ball inside, and that is incredible. Top bins. Okay, fine. Fine. I don't even think you can put that down to poor defending. I think it's just a very, very good goal. 24 minutes in, we're going to have to score another at least. Oh, ball inside to Malapa again. Wow. Swung a hard right foot at that one. And it wasn't far wide. Okay, let's concentrate now. Come on, we can't be doing this in front of the home fans. Eggy wants it. Little chip ball into Big Raj. Looping header. Almost beats the keeper. Creative work there from the duo up top today. Eggy with the ball in. It's almost off his back. Ronaldinho-esque. We will have a corner here. Played short, that's poor. Back to Eggy, edge of the box. Turns, looks to curl it. <laughs> he scored goals like that this season. And that was very nearly another one to add to his tally of cut back inside and then robbing it into the top left-hand corner. Took a very good save as well to prevent it. Hendricks, good header. Eggy can take it down. Uses the run of Big Rog as a shield. On the right foot. Oh, it's great work. Dancing away from the defenders. The dummy took him away. I think he wants it now inside from Ramzalar. And slip it into Big Raj. No. Bentaleb. Eggy turns away. Looks to hammer one here. It's high and wide and not very handsome. Well, we had chances there. Maybe we should have... Trying to find another pass here. It's a good ball in from Hendricks. Eggy turned away from his man. It's always going too wide. Swung a left foot at it. Okay, well, we're trying. We are trying. Eggy's looking tired already. Half time nearly upon us. If we could find something before then, that'd be great. Eggy. Creative flick there into Big Rog. Now, Gabby. Oh, it's fallen to Eggy here with the right foot. Oh! 
Oh, what a hit! He swung and missed only minutes earlier, but this time on his weaker foot as well. He has gone full beans on that, and it's in off the bottom of the bar. No sweeter goal than that. And that came at exactly the right time. Mere seconds left. It was a lovely little flick from Eggy from the throw-in. Bentaleb found him. A lovely first touch. And that finish, incredible. Absolutely incredible. He's shown his class today. The back heel assist. And then the absolute rocket off the right foot. Coming away from goal as well. That is incredible technique from the young Indonesian. And that is an incredibly good time to score as well. Look at that. Two minutes into uh, first half extra time. And we score one of the goals of the season so far for Eggy. Okay. Slightly different team talk now for Hermans. We are on top in terms of chances created. We could be keeping the ball a little bit better. BVV still looking dangerous. So, yeah, as we saw in the last game, 2-1, not a lead to be relaxed in. BVV with a spell of possession here. Malapa turns back, puts a ball in. Roma's there with the header. Oh, come on. Don't seem to be able to defend crosses anymore. Any possession in the wide areas just seems to always end in a goal-scoring opportunity or a goal. Oh, got to attack that. Samuelson, good ball in. Malapa on marked header and Zoot has to put it over his bar. We're doing it again. I can feel it. We're doing it again. We're going to get caught. Let's not, let's not do it again. Eggy plays it out wide. He's being tightly marked now by VVV. They've seen the danger, possibly a little too late. It's going to be very difficult for us to find any uh, opportunities for the rest of this game. Van Bruggen has to clear wildly. Ramzala will pick it up. It's a good ball into Big Rog. Looks to hit it on the turn. Oh, it's a nice idea. Really good hold-up play there. If he had seen Eggy coming in, it would have been a tap-in. But still, we need to keep probing. We need to get that third. Oh, space again for Coombe. He's got Malapa to aim for in the box. Who's looked dangerous every time the ball's come in. <sighs> Zoot again, earning his money today. To intercept a lot of passes of that nature. Ah, oh, Lozano. It's really well won back. Eggy lays it back into Lozano. Look, good ball into Big Rog. Gets away. Oh, fires wide. That would have sealed it here. Roger Martinez with a great opportunity. Really poor play there from VVV. Everyone's tied in this game. Eggy with another back heel. Strong play there. Needed to be on target. And there we have it. Well, we really had to grind that one out in the end. BVV came out in the second half looking strong. But back at the Phillips Stadium, we have come away with the win. And there is Eggy, the man of the moment. He's got his shirt off, waving to the fans, of which there must now be thousands. He is the big man on campus at the moment when it comes to Eindhoven. And uh, rightly so. Incredible game from him today. The assist and the goal. At the heart of everything good for PSV today. And that's oh, that goal. That goal was absolutely lovely. Leathered it like we've not seen him leather it before. And uh, although we didn't have the possession in the air and VVV had a lot of the ball in the second half, um, we did get the win. And that's what counts. And he gets man of the match and a 7.5. Lovely stuff. So where does that see us in the league? We needed all three. And that sees us up into second place. Ajax close behind us. Arden Den Haag having a great season. They've won six so far. We're still yet to lose a game, which is pretty incredible. I'm not going to say the word, the I word yet, but who knows? Who knows? So we sneak up to a 6.9 average rating. I would love a seven average rating for the season. I think with the way that we're playing in this league, I don't think there's any reason why we can't get it. Uh, Eggy's wave, unwavering balance has just increased, as has Swerve. 73 there. We almost swerved in a beauty in that game. Right, let's end the episode on an even bigger high with more goals. We've had a nice week off. Hopefully, we've got De Jong with us today, which should be nice. We've had Big Rog. We've had Maxi Romero. It's worked to an extent, but we always play better with Big De Jong up front. And it is. Lovely stuff. Luke is with us. Eggy on an upward arrow. Petriak in for Lozano. That's not great. Pereira, though, the form is looking good. Let's smash them. Actually, let's have a look. Yep, they're shit. Let's do it. Come on. As we saw last season, we cannot be affording slip-ups against smaller teams like this. It was so, so razor tight at the end of the season. And, uh, you know, dropping points now may not seem to be that big a deal. When it comes down to goal difference end of the season, you know that you need to be making it, making it count when it really should count. And it should count today. I have no fucking clue what that means. But anyway, score some more goals. Simple as that. Can we launch a break here? 
Oh, what a ball that is. From Hendricks through to De Jong. Back in the side today, Luke De Jong. One on one with the keeper. Oh, can't get to it. That's unfortunate. Should have finished that. Bentaleb. Oh, lovely ball into Eggy. Finds Petriak. He's got to play us in here. It's got to be. Yes, easy as that. Easy as that. And Eggy's goal scoring run continues. A couple of goals today and he could be top of the goal scoring rankings in the area division. But he'll have few easier chances than that. Especially on the form that he's in today. Was never going to miss. Got very sloppy. Fortuna couldn't win it back. Eggy again. Eyes in the back of his head. They're going to be calling him Vanilla Sky. You get that reference. Then uh, well done. But yeah, I mean, the finish the finish doesn't get any easier than that. Although, to be fair, we've missed a few of those. I think he does tend to go bottom left-hand corner. Well, bottom. His bottom right-hand corner. I don't know if they've been watching the tapes. He always goes there. And this time, though, finished it well. Stockers now. Oh, that's a good ball out to Lissandro Semedo. He'll get to this first in the PSV box. Turns inside. Hutton with the effort. It's blocked. It's well to keep that from going out for a corner. But, you know, they're, they're probing. They're not rolling over yet. And Pinto will have a chance to put a ball into the box here. That's a dangerous cross. This with the... Oh! I should never have said they were shit. Should never have said it. Fortuna Sittard. Even things up here again. We just can't seem to defend crosses. It's Angelino there. Barely even making an attempt to get to it. He is more of a flair player. I think that's safe to say. Certainly not a defender of crosses. And once again, we've got work to do. Hutton into Stockers. They're looking confident now. Hutton with the back. Oh, get oh, Get away. Get off it. Fortuna Sittard take the lead here. In front of the home fans who are going rightly. Absolutely mental. But this was far too easy. Lovely back heel. And then it's an open goal. Once again, it's Angelino. Caught wanting in defence. He had less time putting dirty numbers on the back of your shirt. Oh, he doesn't do that anymore, does he? Eggy into De Jong. The return ball. Eggy streams through. Great pace here. Edge of the box. We'll hit it. Oh, good save. Had to get that one off as the defender came in. Sis, low ball in. Hutton's able to take it. Oh, under control. And this game has been turned on its head in no more than 20 first half minutes here. The header away. No one able to get to it. Oh, just not close enough. Not even close to close enough to him. And that is not good. Hendricks, lovely ball into Eggy. It's first time for De Jong. He's always got that hold-up ability. Eggy now can switch play. Lovely ball over the top into Pereiro. Mika Pinto gets there so well, though. Great chance there for Pereiro to get through on goal. But the defending was great by the Fortuna player. And they're having a lovely bit of time here. And half time here in Fortuna Sittard with two goals in three minutes to somehow come in 3 1 up. I don't understand it. They're not a good side. We've had nothing. We've had no possession, barely any opportunities. I think he had a good effort saved for a potential second after getting the first. But yeah, Hermans has got some serious talking to do here. We've just looked so lazy in defence. I think that's the way to describe it. Just not getting tight enough. Not making the runs, not trying to get to the ball when they need to. They really need to ramp things up in the second half. Come on. Bentaleb. Not a good ball into Weggy. Again, lazy play. Putting Eggy in a horrible position there. And now Stockers is played through. He'll get to this one first as well. Lays it back out to Semedo. This is terrible stuff here. Hutton into Sis. He'll get a shot off. Oh my god, I thought that was it. I thought that was in. Eggy into De Jong. Wants it back. That's good defending. Really good defending to get to that. Ball wide. Looking for Petriak. Lovely touch from him. He'll play it back. He's got options in the box. It's back to Gabby. Need to put a ball in here. This is better. Oh, it's De Jong into the box. Could fall to Eggy. He was offside. We'll keep this moving though. Gabby. Ball inside. Eggy on the turn. Nearly very nice. Pressure's coming here, but we need to find something soon. Petriak. Ball into Weggy. Gets the opportunity away. It's another good save. Another good save. Preventing us getting what would be an all-important goal. It's into Weggy here. Turns back. 
Turns again. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Get the ball. Get the ball, Leggy. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. This is better. Oh, what a goal that is. Incredible close control in the area. But will it be enough to get us back into this game? Well, only time will tell. Just about scrap to keep that one moving. Ball into Weggy. Looks to turn inside. That's a lovely turn. And it's a lovely finish. He's doing everything right at the moment. If only PSV could follow his lead. Well, there's only a few minutes left in this one. A point now. Looking very favourable. We spoke at the beginning about this being a three points that we have to take. But now, well, desperate times. Eggy into De Jong. Wants it back. Oof. Two on him there. And he's looking a little hurt from that tackle. We do have a good free kick opportunity here. Oh, it's not even going to be Eggy to take it. It's just Angelino now. Eight minutes left in this one. Over the wall. He's got it. Yes. And we've somehow found a way back into this. Can we now go on and win it? Get the ball back. Get it back. No. Such an obvious pass out. Pinto. Out to Semedo. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Martinez puts the ball in. Oh, it's good clearance. This could be our last chance here. Eggy wins an important header. You've got to get that away. Come on. No, on the floor, you fucking imbecile. Well, okay, fine. Angelino saving us the point with an 83rd minute free kick. Eggy not even given the option. I mean, he's only been missing them because Angelino keeps fucking trying to take him before he can even line them up. But anyway, two great goals from Eggy. First one, very calmly taken. The second one, wow, I mean... That is incredible composure in the box. But to not win this game, well, as I said, I've said it more than once now, these are the games we should be winning. Didn't commit a single foul in that game, that's crazy. Um, yeah, we should be winning it. Away from home or not, should have had the uh, all three points today. Eggy had a good game, more poor defending at the back. Doesn't really seem to matter who they have in. Can't quite get it right, but the weak link does seem to be Angelino. Dumfries hasn't been great either. He was so consistent at the beginning of the season. So 3 all against Fortuna Sittar. They're in 10th. I mean, they're not doing too badly. But we should be winning that. And we drop down now into third. It's a long season left to play. Three points off the top. Absolutely fine. 10 goals. 12 appearances. I mean, what more can you say? He's absolutely flying. He could play surely at any level in any team at the moment on this form. And surely must make it into the team of the month. He doesn't. That is harsh. How? We've scored so many goals. Anyway, next episode, we're up against Zagreb again. And it's a must, must win game. Otherwise, we could well be done in the Europa League. Um, depending on how Toulouse get on. Eggy is now top of the goal rankings ahead of Kasper Dolberg with six goals. <whistles> Blistering. But some uh, disappointing performances in this episode. A bit of a shit sandwich. No, an opposite shit sandwich. Sort of like a shit, um, what's that KFC burger, the double down, a shit double down. It was a shit game at the beginning, good game, shit game at the end, sort of shit game. We came back. It showed some good heart at least. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to play a bit of Become a Legend again. I'm sorry if the audio is sounding very tinny. I can even hear it as I'm talking, so I can only imagine how it's going to sound to you. But uh, yeah, very good to be back. And hopefully, should be a fairly regular schedule after today. I mean, this is going to come out probably on the right day on Monday I might put it out on Sunday night if I get a chance and then I'll just I'll try as hard as I can to get things uh, back to uh, normal schedule again and uh, thanks for joining me let me know in the comments what you think about retraining Eggy's position it should go up as a Patreon vote but I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you in a bit